what's up everyone it's your girl brain shanae and today i'm finally doing my may wrap up um i was contemplating if i want to do a wrap up but it is what it is i'm going to share with y'all what i've read in may which i read a total of 12 books which is pretty good i have to give myself a pat on the back for that because uh it was a crazy month <laughs> um and if you fyi if you hear my dog in the background i'm sorry i think there's they're doing construction or whatever outside and he does not like any strangers near our house so my apologies but let's go ahead and get started with this wrap up so the first book or one of the books that i read in may is what i read with um brie from brie Bri reads where we're doing the zora neale hurston read along this year and uh in may we read their eyes are watching god by zora neale hurston of course and i gave this a five to five stars this was my third time reading this and i absolutely love this book this is like one of my favorites by Zora Neale Hurston and I feel like this is one, her most popular one um I feel like they're all like this particular book is also on uh some book list you know summer reading list uh, especially from what I've seen at my job it has been on some summer, uh, summer reading list so I'm happy about that but I just had a great time with this. I'm gonna leave leave the link up above with our live discussion that Brie and I had uh, for this book in particular. And we just, we all loved it. Um, it was hard at times, especially what Janie was going through, um, you know, through her husbands and she's trying to still find herself. And the finally the time where she gets happy, things take a turn. Um, so if you haven't read this yet, I highly, highly recommend that you do because this was just a fantastic book and as you can see I tabbed it up um and I know some people don't write in books but I highlight hi highlighted in here and I wrote stuff in here as well because I just had a, a fantastic time for this and I look forward to reading more by Zora and all her works um but yeah so this is one of the books I read in May the next book, I gave it a three star. I was little between like two and three and I did 2.5. So I rounded up to a three star. Um, and I just, I enjoyed the story. Um, I sort of had an idea of what it was going to be about just how the story started. Um, and this is like the prequel. This is like the story prior to, to Ariel meeting Prince Eric. Um, and I just, I wanted this book as well because this is something that I feel like, you know, when I'm gone, my daughter can have and she can keep it for her daughters and or whatever. Just keep it in the family just because this is like an historical moment, in my opinion. Um, so I read The Little Mermaid Against the Tide and this is by JL. And like I said, um, I believe there is already a movie out uh, in the um, animated version of Ariel and um, uh, and uh trying to search her mother or get to know more about her mother because her mother had died and she wanted to know the root of, root of it all like what had happened to her mother and that's when her father was really strict on things like as far as music and stuff in the movie animated version of it so this is sort of like that where she meets flounder for the very first time who travels a lot and finally he puts his roots down and and uh, flounder and ariel are best friends or become good friends um so we get to know more about ariel's and these are following with characters from the movie the uh live action movie that just came out and i'm so excited to watch it with my daughter um we haven't we haven't seen it just yet i'm waiting till her birthday which is which is on a weekend so that's our what that's one of our plans that we're going to be doing on her birthday um but yeah i gave this a three out of five stars i really enjoyed this book i love jl as a writer um so i just love her writing style um but yeah, I wanted to get this and have this on my shelves, like I said, because I want to pass this down uh, to my kids, to my daughter and, you know, let her see that, you know, here's a black mermaid. So um, yeah, like I said, I gave this a three out of five stars. And then the next book that I read in May, which I gave four stars and I really enjoyed this book and wholeheartedly I love the series I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next in this series um and that is Onyeka and the Rise of the Rebels um I had did a book review like an all my an own book review just for this book completely um so I'm not gonna say much about it you're definitely gonna have to watch my uh book review after you watch this video but I gave it a four to five stars so I'm gonna keep it at that I'm gonna leave the link up above so you can check out my book review for this one right here the next one is Mangwa and I've been, this is the 
what is it? This is the third volume. Uh, and I've been loving this. This one was a little bit different, I will say, but I'm excited to continue on with this series. And that is, this is, like I said, the third volume, which I gave three stars. And that is why Rayliana ended up at the Duke's mansion. Uh, and I, this was a really interesting story. Like I, I enjoy it. Um, like I said, I gave it a three, three out of five stars, which isn't bad at all. It's still a good rating. Um, and I just absolutely just love this. I love romance mangas for some reason. That's the era that I'm in. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and I just started reading manga last year into this year. And I just fell in love, like I said, with romance mangas. Uh, so like I said, I gave this a three out of five stars. And since I've been loving romance manga, I read another one. And this is the third volume. And this was just so heartbreaking, but so good. And I'm really excited for the fourth volume. And that is My Happy Marriage. And this is volume three. And this is a Cinderella inspired slow burn historical romance with a paranormal twist set in Japan. And I just love this so much like Mio as the main character and then Kyoko Kudo who is going to be her husband I just love it and I mean there's times there is a hard part like a, a I guess there's a triggering part in a sense um in this manga particularly with her family abusing her and trying to force her not to marry you know her fiance or whatever um and that his her sister should be the one to marry him and not her she doesn't deserve him yada 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 um, and so this was just a great manga. I love it so, so much. If you haven't started this, I highly recommend it. This is just really good. And I loved it so much. Of course, I gave it a five to five stars. So I also read this in May. So the next book that I read, which I also did a book review for, which was so heartwarming and it, it made me it gave me all type of feelings and warm and fuzzy type of thing and knowing more about your your past and facing your past and trying to trying to present your past in, in your present and knowing what you could do for the future and for what you can continue to do when you have your children and passing down those stories and telling them about their family and where they came from and, and, and all that and their ancestors and I'm not going to say much about it of course with this book I gave it five stars and that is I am Aya the way home this is by Donna Hill like I said I gave this a five out of five stars I'm not going to say more about it I'll leave the link up above so you can check out my book review but I love this and I hope and I hope that one of you or anyone that's watching this will pick it up because it's really good. Next one, which <laughs> I gave this a five, five stars too. <laughs> and that is Amina, The Adventures of Amina Al-Sarafi. Man, she, Shannon Chakraborty just kills it all this all the time. And I hope she continues on doing it. And I loved every single part of this, especially with um, Amina and her husband the demon <laughs> so i'm like i love this and i'm looking forward to the next book in the series like I, I i want it now i just fell in love with this and i now i know why and i like why people loved it so much i was like huh oh, pirates uh, it's really good so if you haven't read this yet you are missing out because this is really really good but like i said i gave this a five to five stars this next book, I just love Elizabeth Lim's writing. Um, it's very, I don't know, it's just very angelic in a sense. It is very whimsical and I do like that type of writing style. It makes me feel like I'm in this world and I'm just in the background just observing every single thing and every person that's in this story. And um, I gave this a four out of five stars and that is The Dragon's Promise. This is by Elizabeth Lim, where we are featuring, this is the main character Shayuri. Um, and she is trying to uh, fix everything, especially with her, her brothers or were cranes and stuff and with the magic and the dragon's pearl. She's just on a huge wondrous adventure until the very end where she has to make an arrangement with the moon goddess and, and, um, uh, share her time with uh with with the moon goddess and then go to the to her world her you know her country to spend time with Takan who is her love of her life and also with her brothers um and just awesome 
awesome elizabeth Lim does it again i know this has been out for a while and i just now started reading i just uh just start, uh, read this last month you know in may and i really enjoy it anything that elizabeth Lim writes i'm definitely going to be reading i know that her next book um i think is the radiant curse i think is her next one i think i could be mistaken um and i'm looking forward to that one i'd already love the cover um so who knows but I just love this. I love this so much. This is why I gave it a four, four out of five stars. So we have this. Next one. Oh, this is this. This was the sequel in this in this book in this series. And it's a, it's, a, it's a duology. And I was bawling in tears for this in this in this particular book. And I do I don't cry a lot in books. But I absolutely just fell in love with this story because, like I said, this is the second book in the duology. And that is Heart of the Sun by Sulin Tan. Uh, this is the second book of Daughter of the Moon Goddess. And I loved it. I, lo I love Xing Yun um, and just how badass she is in this book. <laughs> and, and um, you know, and this little love triangle between Wing Shu and Li and the ending it got me so much like especially when she felt like there was a lot of betrayal in the daughter of the moon goddess and a lot of uh revelations and reveals and and realizing mistakes that were made and and stuff like that and self-evaluating and <laughs> just so much was happening in this book and the very end of this book it it took my soul away like it just it oh my god I was sad at one point, like I said, I was crying. But then at the end of the book, I was I was like still in tears, but it was happy tears. And I love this. I gave this a five of five stars. If you haven't read Daughter of the Moon Goddess, I I recommend it. And then after you read Daughter of the Moon Goddess, read this one. And I promise you, I promise you, these books will not disappoint. I had a fun time. Um, even with between these two books, they have some similarities between, um, you know, the moon goddess and uh, the dragons in their own world and stuff and the dragon's pearl. And so it just felt amazing to read this and see what, you know, what happened, especially after the first book. So definitely read Daughter of the Moon Goddess because y'all missing out on it. But I gave this a five to five stars. The next book that I read, which was part of my book club, book club pick for my members, which you can join, um, and we read Chlorine. Uh, we did a book discussion, which I'll leave it up above. Um, it's definitely horrifying. I gave it a four out of five stars. Um, I, I, I really, it's hard to even describe, you can describe it, but how you felt about it is very yeah because when in during the uh <laughs> like the live discussion we were like I don't know what he was say about this book it was just very horrifying and the main character and what she was doing to herself it made me be in pain and I actually was I was listening to the audiobook I don't have the physical book of course um but yeah I gave it a four out of five stars just to show about just bringing awareness to uh to especially if you're a parent or whatever just trying to be alert and aware of your children and who they're with and their surroundings because the main character Ren she was doing a lot of things to her body to improve because she's part of a swim team and her mom didn't realize what she was doing at the time you know at all with herself and and the men she was you know messing around with and then her coach and what he was doing with her it's just it, it brought I feel like that's a book that some people should read um it is there's a lot of trigger warnings within within chlorine so just giving you a heads up right now um because it's very horrifying this is I would consider it a horror horror type of book for sure it's horror for real but um I gave it a four or five stars and like I said I'll leave the link up above so you can check out the live discussion that we had now the next book that I read which um I gave it a three star um I appreciate this book especially when it deals with fairy tales and this man believing in fairy tales and being with his wife and a lot of reveals about the, his wife's sister and all that other stuff I know some people did not like this book particularly by Roshani Chosky but I I enjoyed it for what it was so that's why I gave it a three out of five stars and that is the last tale of the flower bride like I said, I gave this a three out of five stars. It's really good. I mean, it is slow paced. I mean, it does drag. I'm not going to lie. But 
I love the story overall, especially when you get closer to the ending of the book and the main character's sister. And it's like a magical real is like a lot of, you know, it's fantasy. So it's just, I enjoyed it. it was it's a beautiful story. Um, I just wish I wanted a little bit more. Um, but overall, like I said, I enjoyed what I read and I gave it a three out of five stars for this one. The next book, which I did enjoy, I gave this a four out of five stars. Um, and that is What Souls Are Made Of. This is a Wuthering Heights remix by Tasha Suri. Um, and as you can see here, if y'all don't know, I mostly read books, you know, for AAPI because, that, you know, that was for May. Um, and I also, of course, read this. And like I said, I gave him four or five stars. I have not read uh, the, you know, the classic Wuthering Heights. I haven't done it and I don't think I want to. <laughs> I just don't and I just love this story above all I don't even want to give y'all anything any information I really want you to just read it and take it all in because it's just a fantastic book and it's not as traumatic as the original the class you know the original Wuthering Heights book so if you like Wuthering Heights and you want a little twist a little remix into it this is definitely a book that she sh you should just read by Tasha Suri this is a fantastic book um I know that they're, they're doing a lot of remixes I know the next book um is going to be for um the Secret Garden, and that's going to be by Sherry Demoline. So I'm really looking forward to that. Of course, I already pre-ordered it, and the cover is gorgeous, by the way. Um, but yeah, so they're doing a lot of remixes. I know Bethany C. Morrow had done her remix for Little Women. Um, I know that. Uh, oh God, I don't. Um, uh, oh God, I can't remember her name. Is going to bother me. <sighs> Well, anyways, uh, there's a lot of remixes within just the series alone. So there's definitely something for you. And I think that you will love. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Kaylin Barron. Kaylin Barron had did a, a remix for um, Clyde. Uh, uh, Jackal. Uh, oh, God. I can't even talk right now, y'all. Sorry. I'm just too excited to share with, share with y'all all the books that I read. But Jekyll and Hyde remix. So there was that. That was by Kay Kaylin Barron that I read um, earlier this year. Um, so yeah, definitely pick up one of the remixes. They're really pretty good. Next, and last but not least, we had done a live discussion for this uh, particular book, which we're doing a slow read for this because it does it does make your blood boil. Uh, so this is, I read, we read section or chapters eight through 11. Um, and what we read was the 1619 project, um, which like I said, we've been doing a slow read. And as you can see, I've been tabbing it up as we go. Um, the next sections that we're going to be reading for June, just in case if you want to join us and you want to catch up, we're reading chapters 12 through 15. And then in July, we're reading chapters 16 through chapters 18. And then we will be completely done and finished and read the entire book. So yeah, this is just a book where I've learned so much stuff. There's some things that I already knew and there's some things that I just completely did not know. And I'm glad that I now know of certain things, especially the his history of, you know, this country in the U.S. and what they have done to people and enslaved people. And they say that this is a country, it's for the free and stuff like that. And no, no. It's all propaganda. So I, and I like how even it talks about the past and how the past is still in the present. And if we don't do anything, it can still, it could be in the future, in the near future. Um, and so that's why they still talk, have these talks about reparations and stuff like that. So it gives you an awareness of things, especially talks about the medical field and what they have done to black women and the treatment black women receive, especially for my own personal experience. I had, uh, there was, when I was in labor, with my son and one of the nurses was treating me terribly. Um, I don't even want to get into it because I'm going to get upset. Um, but like, I, like if you haven't read the 1619 Project, I recommend you just slowly read it, read it and take your time um, because it's a lot of information and also it just can be heartbreaking and it can piss you off. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be continuing on reading this for June. But that is it. <laughs> I promise. Those are all the books I read in May. I really hope you enjoyed this wrap up. I know I was rambling a lot, but I was just very excited to read all these books. And um, they just, 
they made me really happy and I, I just I loved all the stories that I read in May um but thank you all for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please 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 give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future but thank you all for watching and I hope you all are staying healthy and please 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 stay safe see ya